Hello all, welcome back to Odo 17 development tutorial. Today, in this video, let us discuss about some of the basic fields in Odo 17. As we all know, Odo supports different types of fields for better data handling. These fields can be categorized into three types. They are simple type, relation types and functional types. Fields such as integers, string, boolean, etc. belongs to the category of symbol types. And fields such as or fields that are not stored in the database belongs to the category of functional type. And finally, relation types. The fields such as many to one, one to many, and many to many belongs to the category of relation types. They are relational fields. So let us discuss about some of the basic fields in Odo 17. For that, I have created a model along with some of the basic fields here. So here you can see the first field is the name field. So let's check it. Here you can see you have first of all we need to import fields from Odo. So here you can see that from Odo import models and fields. And here you can see the way I have mentioned the fields or how can we give the fields here. So here you can see the fields dot the field type. So the first field is name and it's of type character field. Here you can see the K of field here. This field is used to store character or string values. So here you can store string or character values. And the next field is number. This field is of type integer. Here you can see the type as integer. And this is the way we will mention the field integer. And this field is used to store integer type values or integer values. And the next one is is true field. It is a boolean field. Here you can enable true or false. So this is of type boolean. Here you can see the field is true. And it is of field uh, boolean field. And it is used to store boolean values that like uh, true or false. And the next one is selection field. And here you can see the field as select. Here we can select the values. And these values are written in the backend. Here you can see the way. I have written the selection field that is fields dot selection and I have mentioned the values through the backend. And the next field is of type float. And here you can see the way I have defined the floating field that is here this field is used to store floating values. So here you can mention the floating values can be mentioned. And the next field is of type date. Here you can see the field as date and in the UI here you can choose the date can be chosen and this field uh, that is the field type date is used to store dates and the next field here you can see the date time and uh, in the date time it stores the date and time in the same way or in the same field so here you can see in the date time have uh, the way i have mentioned the date time field that is fields dot date time and here in the date here you can see the fields dot date and in the fields dot date that is in the date time field here we can choose the date along with the time so i can see i am choosing the date time and here you can see the date along with the time in the same field and the next field is of doc that is uh, here you can see upload a file so it is of type binary you can see the doc that is fields dot binary this field uh, using this field we can upload files from our local system to auto so you can just click upload your image or upload your file and in this way you can upload files here and the next one is image file or you can sorry uh, the image field this field is of type image it is an extended version of our binary field here also we can choose or we can uh, yeah here also we can upload files from the our local to the auto so here we can upload files here and the next field is product template if you check the pie chart here you can see the product template and it is a field many to one so it is a relational field a many to one field uh, relates the current uh, models record with one among the many records of the second model or the core model so here you can see the core model that i have mentioned that is a product dot template if we check the UI, here you can see the different products. So from here we can choose the product can be choose and one product can be choose at a time. So if we change the product, you can see the product has been changed. And the next field is product. And 
the product field is of type many to many so here you can see the type as many to many and it is also a relational field a many to many field uh, it is a bidirectional that is any number of records on one side can be related to any number of records on the other side and these uh, many to many fields are used when a record in one model can be related to multiple records in another model and vice versa so if we check the ui here you can see that here you can select number of product or number of records can be or number of products can be chosen at the same time so if we can any any number of products can be chosen so uh and the uh next field here and the next field is uh is tips tricks line ideas so here you can see it is a one to many that is also a relational uh that is also a relational field and uh, this field or one to many fields are used when a record in one model is related to multiple records in another model uh and but uh, the records in the second model have a single and a unique link to link back to the first model uh, it represents a uh, one to many relation so here you can see that i have also uh, mentioned the uh, core model here you can see the core model i have mentioned and for in the case of one to many uh, a, this core model along with the core model an inverse name or inverse field also needed so here you can see the tips and tricks it is a many to one field that i have created in the uh, core model so here you can see the in the core model i have created a many to one field that many to one field is this particular model so you can see the model i have mentioned and here also you can see that i have added some fields and if we check the ui here you can see the uh, many, one to many field that i have created here you can see this dip, or here you can see the fields here that is name number here you can see the fields so if you can choose the record so or if you want to create you can create it here you can give the number so here you can see that here also i have defined a model that is model here and also i have defined three fields here and the next field is of price and the price field is of type monitoring so here you can see the field type and this field are basically used to store price and cost information in returns a plotting value uh, along with the currency okay so and the, you can see the currency i have mentioned here that is the currency field that is currency underscore id and it's a many to one field where i have mentioned the core model here so in the ui here you can see the plotting value it returns a plotting value so here you can give the plotting value can be mentioned and along with the currency can also be mentioned here so these are the basic fields in order 17 thank you